Kapits, magandang araw sa inyo and welcome back to my channel. Para dun sa mga bago pa lang sa aking channel, I am Dr. Timion MD at your service. Actually, yung last na pag-usapan natin ay yung mga tungkol sa mga filters na ginagamit natin sa mga appliance natin o yung mga uh, respirators na ginagamit natin. So ngayon naman, uh, pag-usapan natin kung paano gamitin ang mga ito. So apat yung ating tututukan naman na dito, yung pagsuot or doning, yung doffing or yung pagtanggal, yung pag-sterilize pagkatapos ng uh, procedure, and then kung paano i-store ang mga filters at saka yung mga appliances niyo. Uh, mas magagamit niyo ito ng mas matagal. Ideally, bago ka pumasok sa operating room, uh, mas maganda siguro kung nakapag-shower uh, ka or kung walang available na shower, at least you have washed your hands. Yung face mo, uh, dapat na hugasan mo at least man lang ng mga antibacterial soap like Safeguard or kung ano yung available na antibacterial soap. So you have to clean or you wash your face thoroughly dry. So when you are now at the donning area, first thing that you have to put in mind is you decide what kind of appliance you're gonna use. For a full face mask, uh, you don't need uh, additional goggles or a facial uh, shield anymore okay because this will serve as your facial shield and your goggles at the same time but if you decide on using your uh, half mask okay make sure that other appliances should be with you which is your goggles okay and uh, the face shield about the current facial so when you arrive at the donning area uh, the first things that you have to check is the availability of your PPE. Do not rush in going to the area without being properly protected. After na check nyo yung mga cover holes ninyo, next na check nyo is yung appliances. So uh, it doesn't matter whether you're using a full face or a half face. So first thing that you have to do is inspect your appliance. So tignan mo yung Screen, dapat walang crack. All the bulbs should be intact. Okay? Uh, wala dapat mga crack yan, wala dapat matanggal, walang loose part. So the, the rubbers and the silicones, uh, dapat walang punit at walang mga crack or butas sa mga uh, area ninyo. And then the mask inside, okay? You have to check them. Double check if they are in place. Yung mga bulbs, if they are working properly, dapat nag-float lang yung bulb at gumagalaw siya. At uh, yung mga strap, dapat wala rin mga uh, sira yung mga strap ninyo. And if you decide for the half face mask, ganun din. So for the PPE, you have to cross-check the completeness of your cover holes. Pag suot po ng PPE ay hindi siya komportable. Unang-una, napakainit ang mga PPEs, okay? Second, yung mga pressure points. Talaga masakit yan. So, when you use your PPEs, you should be very patient and dedicated enough to sustain. Do not trade in safety with comfort. No coveralls or no PPE, no surgery. But I want to say is, do not rush yourself into a situation if you think you are not protected enough and you are not safe enough before going to the battle. So don't compromise safety in attending COVID patient. Okay? There is no room for rushing, there is no room for shortcuts, and there is no room for improper use of your PPE because that will take you into a very dangerous situation both for you and your patient and the people around. The appropriate size should be, it will allow you to move, okay, freely, na walang limitations. So, the principle in the surgical theater is zero skin exposure. So, please attain as much as possible, as much as you can do, there should be zero skin exposure. Okay, but sometimes, hindi natin magawa yan then there are alternatives that you can do to at least minimize skin exposure. 
make sure that the PPE you are using meets the standard requirement for quality. These are yung mga Timbex suit ninyo. So, advice ko muna, kung nag-OR kayo, please avoid the homemade PPEs, no? Kasi you will be exposed to body fluids, to fluids, to aerosol in the operating room. So, you should at least use quality standard PPEs. So, let's start with the donning process. Bago lahat, make sure that you don't wear any jewelries. Next is, you have to alcoholize. Then, wear a sterile gloves. Next is, if you decided for the full face mask, again, you have to check all the parts. Position the filter. Uh, make sure that your strap are loosened to the end. And then, you bring this one in front. Then, remove any hair. So, as much as possible, don't touch the inner surface of the mask. So, position the strap this way. And then, position the mask on your face at its final position. Once you have a more, first is to tighten the strap. Hold. Tighten the strap. Now, check for final positioning. Check for the seal. Okay. So if this is a little bit loose, you can now uh, tighten the upper part by pulling it this way. The other side is by pulling it. So check for comfort. And then you can add more if you think. And one, and then, and one. So try to check for the visibility, if it is visible, self, and down half, half one. So, it should not put too much pressure, too much pressures in your hand. So when you are comfortable with your mask in place, you can now start donning. Next is, you put on a surgical mask because remember, your exhaust has no filtering capacity. It is only guarded by valve. Okay? Wala siyang filtering capacity. So you put on so that you will protect uh, what you exhale to cover the exhaust area without compromising breathing capacity mo. Hindi siya masyadong na, hindi siya masyadong nahihirapan. Ang, uh, the technique here is you put in your mask, yeah, put it on the strap, head strap, on the head strap, so it should look like this, so that the exhaust is being filtered. You have a free moving exhaust, and at the same time, meron kang barrier sa outflow mo. Zero skin exposure. Uh, remember, this is not a part of level 4 uh, uh, PPE, but for other security, for your confidence, you can still adopt another layer of uh, security. But for, for other security, for your peace of mind and for your confidence, you can always add up to achieve zero skin exposure. You have to check for Locomotion. You can move, you can move freely. Yeah. And stop. Up. Yeah. Yeah. Good. After this one, you are now ready to go to your OR theater and perform the surgery. So, if you decide to use the half face mask, this is the proper way to don and to do. So, again, uh, when you use any appliances, make sure you have to check everything. So if you decide to use the cartridge type, you have to uh, put a particulate filter first on this type of uh, 
filter kasi this is just designed for vapors. So, wala siyang particulate filter. So, you have to put in uh, either a HEPA filter, which is yung magenta, or yung white, which is the N95. Put the N95. And push until it clicks. So you now have a uh, filter, a gas, a vapor filter plus a particulate filter. Align the buttons or the holes. Then rotate clockwise until it clicks. So as the other side. And now you're ready to go. For the half face mask, okay. So put it in front and. Position properly your mouth. Yes. If it is good, put on the head bar. Position out. Then you put on the back stop. Find the comfort level. Okay. Then test again. And if it's okay, tighten up. Tighten up. Then tighten up. Back. And when you decide the one to use the uh, flat ones, okay, again, so align all the uh, buttons rotate clockwise until basically then make sure that uh, these are loosened up to the end position put this one first in front then find the comfortable uh, position of the put this one up put this up next is your Box stop. After this, sterilize hands again, get your PPE, counterclockwise, remove it, place it inside the container with the opening uh, the other one, this side up, sterilize, cover up, then store this in a cool dry place, okay, you can open this again for your next procedure or when you need it. So for the disinfection process, you need three containers. So for the first container, it contains a 1 is to 100 dilution of uh, sodium hypochlorite. For the second box, also with the 1 is to 100 dilution of borox from grain. And for the last box, distilled water or clean water for rinsing. For the appliances, pati yung uh, full mask, okay, kung grossly na nagdumihan siya, you can detach the parts. Remove the area, okay? You soak it with there. This one, so I would like to remind you that the exhaust of mask has no filter. This is just bulb, rubber bulb. Okay, it does not have any filtering capacity. Kaya nilalagyan natin ng mask ito pagka nag tayo para main barrier yung exhaust ninyo. Uh, actually, lahat ito pwede mong i-detach eh. So, since hindi naman siya masyadong madumi, uh, you can just uh, wash it 
in the first solution of sodium hypochlorite. You can use a uh, gentle brushing if you have a soft bristle uh, brush. These ones are not filters. These are, these are just bulbs. No? So you clean it up. Put it in the second one. And then soak it for at least mga 5 minutes. As long as you know na lahat na malagyan, this is the bulb. So stay in here for 5 minutes. After 5 minutes, you can take this off. Then you can rinse and air dry sa area na hindi madumi. So, kung nagmamadali ka, well, you can wipe it dry. And then, put it back. Click on this now. Guys, you don't need to do this every day naman. Okay? Gagawin mo lang ito kung matatagalan yung paggamit mo or uh, you don't need to put it back again immediately. Uh, in cases like that, just get an open to the sponge. Okay? Kung hangadal dito, then you can just wipe it up. No? So, Ayun ganito, pagka medyo madumi na, siguro pagka sobra-sobra na yung pawis or ano, then you can do the soaking. So after nyo gamitin itong mga appliance nito, uh, store them very carefully. Kasi any breach in the uh, integrity ng mga rubber will cause you a big, big trouble. Okay, so hindi na siya safe. Magkaroon lang yan ng riyak, hindi na yan safe na gagamitin nyo. So take care of your appliances. This one, should go there. And uh, for your full mask, provided naman kayo ng 3M, and you can just bring it in here, okay, ready for your next adventure. So for the storage na one of the filters, okay, for example your cartridges, uh, you can soak this one with sodium hypochlorite and wipe uh, around the cartridge. And then sterilize the area, and then Prepare for storage. Okay, get an empty box. Chow King. Um, thank you pala sa Chow King, si Jollibee, sa McDonald's, and sa lahat-lahat na uh, nagbibigay ng mga pagkain sa frontliners. You can use a box like this. Thank you, thank you very much sa mga donors, lahat ng tumutulong sa mga frontliners. Yung tulong nyo po ay hindi lang para sa frontliners, kundi para din sa mga pasyente at sa lahat ng Pilipino. So, ito, just take this one. Okay. And put this one in here. Put this one in here. Then seal it off. For the flat ones, you can also use this one. Okay. There. Then come up here. Then start them in a cool, dry place. Isa na lang guys, na nakalimutan ko explain sa last video ko yung mga uh, filtering capacity, yung percentage efficiency Pag sinabing 95%, hindi naman ibig sabihin nyo na hanggang 95% lang yung kaya niya i-filter and will give you a failure of 5%, hindi ganon So, from 95% upward, it can filter up to 99.97% Pero it should not go down below the specified efficiency rate So, kung N95 yan, should not go down below 94 bababa but yung filtering capacity niya, it can go up. So from 95, pwede rin makapag-filter yan yung efficiency rate niya ng 99.97. May mga nagtatanong kung uh, ano yung advantages and disadvantages ng dalawa. Uh, from Dr. Kasi, hi, thank you Dr. Kas for uh, watching the videos. Um, the difference between this is talaga ito is more dedicated on the OR theater. So yung mga half mask, uh, mas magal since magaan lang sila at madali lang gamitin these are advisable for your um, daily rounds no? so pag nag rounds ka lang or uh, naglalakad ka lang sa hallway ng hospital or pagpapag sa ER for uh, pag-OPD consultations uh, this is uh, advisable kasi mas pabilis siyang isuot at mas magaan siya para ka lang naka-wear ng N95 so this one say uh, yes uh, really dedicated for your uh, OR procedure no? uh, kasi ang gusto natin sa loob ng OR is zero skin exposure no? so yun ang important na ito kagandaan na ito you can achieve zero percent skin exposure so I guess um, this will be my last uh, video uh, with the, regarding to the series of the use of uh, different barriers, respirators, masks, filters 
uh, disinfection and storage. And uh, is, if there is anything that I can do to help, uh, just give me a message through my channel. And uh, salamat po sa inyong uh, pagsubaybay. Hanggang sa muli.